So there's been a question in paleontology of, did fossil animals migrate? And the answer has generally been, yeah, probably, but it's really hard to tell. But at least sometimes we can actually tell. And one paper sought to do just that by looking at different isotopes in different growth stages of mammoth tusks. Mammoth tusks grow continually throughout their life. And that means they're constantly picking up different elements from their environment. And some elements vary really, really greatly from place to place. One of these, for example, is strontium, which strontium has multiple isotopes, it's radioactive and decays, so you can try and tell different things from that. So it's a really good baseline to try and use in order to try and see what's happening with these different animals moving into different environments. On the periodic table, it's also an alkali earth metal, meaning it behaves a lot like calcium, and you know, calcium goes into the teeth and bones. So it behaves the same way, going into teeth and bones. And tusks are technically just really big teeth that just grow for a long time. So again, that means we can try and trace strontium specifically to try and understand what this animal was doing throughout its life and moving around. And this is really cool because with most fossils, all we can really say is this is where the body ended up eventually, right? Like we're not able to sit here and say, oh, it died here specifically and then washed down this river. Sometimes we can get some pieces of evidence, but that still doesn't tell us much about the transport process other than the fact that it was moved at least somewhat. However, by looking at this one specific woolly mammoth fossil, researchers were able to show that at least male woolly mammoths probably walked at least 500 miles and then 500 more, just to be the mammoth that could say they walked 1,000 miles. And this was done using isotopes in the tusks, and the tusks were about 1.7 meters long, and they grew slowly, making this animal right around 28 years of age, which I'm about to be 28 and I don't think I'm that old. But regardless, they were able to show based on these isotopes, the animal covered vast, vast distances. And they did this by comparing it, the isotopes in the tusks, to isotopes in rodent teeth, because like mammoths, rodents grow their teeth continually, but more importantly, they have a very small range. Rodents don't go on very large migrations. And that means rather than getting wildly varying strontium and other isotopes in their teeth, it's pretty consistent to just their environment. And so by comparing the isotopes in the tusks at different times, to the isotopes in rodent teeth across most of Alaska, they were able to show where this mammoth went. And so based on these isotopes, these authors were able to show that about 17,000 years ago, when this mammoth was a newborn, it spent a lot of its time in the Yukon River Basin, and generally the interior of Alaska. However, at about 16 years of age, it started going on much longer journeys throughout much larger portions of Alaska. And you gotta remember, Alaska's huge. Don't think of it as a map of the United States with Alaska in the corner. Alaska is a big place. This animal is covering thousands and thousands of miles. Additionally, this age of about 16 years old may coincide with the similar behavior seen in elephants, where males are pushed out of the herd at a certain age because they start developing more testosterone and becoming more aggressive. And then they're essentially isolated on their own and only interact with the herds on occasion. And this may be the same thing that this mammoth was doing because again, it was kind of potentially on its own doing these much larger journeys. So the herds probably stayed there in the central part of Alaska, and then these bull mammoths would journey much more wildly. And eventually it did find its way north, where it eventually died after two winters up in the north. And that's unfortunate for it, but good for us because we were able to find this fossil. And based on its migration patterns, we can actually tell at least some of the reasons that mammoths may have gone extinct. And that's a generally warming climate. As more forests started to rise throughout especially the north, and many of the grasslands that these animals relied on essentially died out, it may have fragmented their environment. And with things like mammoths taking thousands and thousand mile journeys, having that poorer environment of forests rather than grasslands that they relied on probably led them to have a more stressed population and eventually just die out entirely. 